Animal models are a need in Alzheimer's disease because thanks to animal models we can test hypotheses that could not be tested uh, on a human being. And uh, there are different kind of animal models. Um, some of them uh, express genes uh, involved, uh, involved in familial forms uh, of Alzheimer's disease and they overexpress uh, uh, peptides that are found in the brain of people with Alzheimer's disease, such as amyloid beta uh, peptides. Some other animal models overexpress a mutated form of a protein called uh, tau protein that can get modified and form those neurofibrillary tangles that are found again in the brain of people with Alzheimer's disease. The advantage of these models is that they allow us to study in a short time frame the alterations associated to the accumulation of these proteins. The shortcomings of these models are that they do not represent the sporadic form of the disease, but only the familial form of the disease. However, new models are coming out now that are more representative of the sporadic form, such as the Tau35 model developed at King's College.